and welcome to the show. This is Webmaster Paul for Freshwater Diver 1. A discovery here by local members of Penrith Divers many years ago led to police officers knocking on the doors and with permits to search the homes of local divers. Those divers had discovered something the police did not want anyone knowing about in this bay. I'll be talking about this dive site for you in a few minutes. But right now I'd like to give Penrith Canoe Polo Club members Jack and Katie a shout. They kindly took time out to tell us a little about their sport. Thanks Jack and Katie. The nearby opposite the boathouse has room for three vehicles with just a short stroll over this road onto a well trodden path to the water's edge. Formed by those armed with paddles, divers with fully charged cylinders and anglers with brollies. Just be aware of oncoming vehicles coming around this bend as will be seen shortly in this film. The old part of a club at all, or just? Yeah, yeah, part of uh, Penrith New Club. All oh, right, it was Penrith Divers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> it's still going, like. Yeah. I mean, we, if we ever get in the pool, yeah, we do, we do tend to do it. So it's um, like. My name's yeah. Sorry, Jack and Katie, right? Oh, like Paul. Canoe polo. So that is to stop us getting hit in the face with the blades, oh. um, <laughs> which have to be like a certain thickness. Right. If they're too thin, and they'll put you. Um, and yeah, just uh, bumpers because it's a full contact sport. Um, we have to wear buoyancy aids, which have to go yeah. down to like a certain length, and we've got padding on the side to protect your ribs and stuff. So right. Yeah, it's full on. Oh. Enjoy it. This is going to be good to watch then. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're going to like we'll probably paddle across to the pier. So we usually go off the pier and then we'll go off and do some fitness and then we'll do some ball stuff. As With well, you. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Okay, have fun. Yeah, thank you very much. Alright, see you in a bit. Right, see you, Jack. For the first 30 40 feet you will be wading out on a firm pebbly bottom but this soon drops off and you're into the usual silt with a maximum depth of about 10 to 12 meters 
Be careful when pushing your hands into the silt in the 10 meter mark because in Victorian days there were no rubbish collections so the locals of yesterday would simply row out into the middle and dump the old fire grate coals which you will find about a foot below the silt surface and no those are not clubs of pebbles you're feeling those are coals along with hopefully jars and bottles from the early 1900s the old bottles a treasure many are worth money but there are also a lot of broken glass panes out here too so please be careful on your return trip find the 10 meter contour as I did recover a weight belt with leads but two lead weights slid off and were lost at five meters in the one to three meter contour you will discover sticklebacks and minnow in the shallows during the daytime. During the very late evening, you might find perch sitting beside trout amongst the short weeds. That's very unusual. A discovery here by local members of Penrith Divers many years ago led to police officers knocking on the doors and with permits to search the homes of local divers. Those divers had discovered something the police did not want anyone knowing about in this bay. After the Second World War, a guns amnesty was held in the area, the proceeds of which were to be disposed of safely by the local police. I'll give you one guess where they decided to safely dispose of those weapons. You guessed it right. Having rendered the weapons harmless, a team of police officers took to rowing boats with those weapons and started their row into the deepest part of this bay. They then proceeded to dump them over the side as they rowed back, just like in Victorian days. Great to have hindsight, but at that time they were at least safely out of the public domain for a good many years. Fifty years later, however, advancements in scuba equipment would see the sport become popular and dive depth limits would not be an issue for our local intrepid explorers and treasure seekers who finally discovered some of the stash down there which led to a police search in the homes of our local buds. Are there any more harmless weapons down there? That's a good question folks and this is a big area. More recently, the pier had its supports replaced and that disturbed the bottom, all along that pier. Along with some posts which floated off and sank near to the pier, so be careful. With the vis being poor at 2 meters, I headbutted one such post. Here's the culprit. This is Webmaster Paul from Freshwater Diver 1 on YouTube. Thank you for your likes, subscribes and shares. Those are very much appreciated. You're welcome to leave your comments below. We love reading them. Thank you.